What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'd like to do another best class setup for the Kilo 141. You'll have to excuse me today. I have a horrible sore throat, so my voice may go a little bit in and out here. But I'm going to show you some different ways that you can run this weapon. The very first one we're going to look at here is kind of a non-suppressed class. This gun reminds me so much of the ACR from past, from past Modern Warfare games. And it's slowly becoming my favorite weapon in game. I prefer this over the M4 in a lot of situations. And I think with the weapon tuning that we're about to get in game, this could become a better weapon than the M4. We'll just kind of have to wait and see. So if you want to run this without a suppressor, I like the 16.6 .6 barrel. That way you only get the aim down sight speed reduction. You're still getting the range, velocity, and control. You can go with the Prowler. You're going to get a bit more accuracy, a bit more range, a bit more control, but you're also going to get a movement speed deduction along with that aim down sight speed deduction. So that is kind of why I go with the SOCOM barrel with this. When it comes to sights, now this is all personal preference. I go with the mini reflex or the GI mini reflex, but whatever you're comfortable with, go ahead and put it on there and use it. Sights are always, like I said, just personal preference. Now when it comes to grips, I always use the Commando foregrip. I think it is the best for recoil kind of management in game. The Merc foregrip or the Operator or the Ranger foregrip are also viable options, but personally I feel that the Commando foregrip is one of the best grips in my opinion. Uh, magazine, I run the 50 round mag. Now this will give you that 50 rounds, but you will get an ADS speed kind of deduction and a movement speed deduction. That is one reason that I go with this barrel instead of this barrel because that way I'm not getting aim down sight and movement speed reductions on two attachments with this particular class. When it comes to the rear grip, it's always stiffle grip tape for me personally. That gives you aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Either one of these are not bad. I just do not feel that they perform as well as they should, especially the rubberized grip tape. I don't think the recoil control you get from it is really that impressive. Now with this build right here, this kind of loadout, this gun is pretty much a laser. As long as you're not just holding down the trigger, if you keep you know several shots on target and let off a little bit, keep several shots on target, this thing is pretty much a laser. Now, another way you can run this, of course, is drop this barrel and usually drop these mags is what I prefer to do and then slap on the compensator. The compensator and the commando foregrip together are two of the best recoil deductions in the game, in my opinion. So if you run it this way, I would recommend either going with sleight of hand back here as a fifth perk, or you could go ahead and use another barrel if you would like but I would probably go with the sleight of hand just personally. That way you're not having to reload a lot. You're taking that am ammo off here that's kind of giving you that slowdown as well. And this is a little bit more of a, a kind of mobile build, but does not quite have the range as the first build that I showed you. Now when we go to this weapon for a suppressed style class, this is where it's going to get a bit interesting. Um, I like the monolithic suppressor, which of course gives you that sound suppression damage range, but that ADS speed and that walking steadiness is definitely reduced, along with that 19.8 Prowler barrel, which is going to give you that range velocity control, but movement speed and aim down sight speed negatives. Uh, of course, the Commando foregrip is always in the stippled grip tape on the back with the 50 round mag, which also gives you aim down sight and movement speed deductions. This stippled grip tape is not going to make up for the mags, the Shin, uh, the Syngard, uh 19.8 and the monolithic suppressors you know a ads problems and movement speed problems as you can see the mobility in the bottom corner is a bit slower this is a very good build though if you're going to go ahead and be pre-aiming corners if you're going to be you know moving around but not just sprinting around everywhere because you're not going to be able to pull this weapon up as fast as someone that has more of a mobile build no matter what weapon they're using if they're more mobile and have better ads than you do you're going to be a few milliseconds behind with this particular build but it is very a very good suppressed build as well, so keep that in mind. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the iron sights of this gun. That's another reason that me and this class set up particularly like this do not get along as well as some of the others that I have shown you. And one other thing you can do for a suppressor is go ahead and take that monolithic suppressor off, take the barrel off, and go with the arms whisper barrel. Now, this is a built-in suppressor. You still get that aim down sight speed reduction, but you get sound suppression, or sound suppression and bullet velocity. You're not going to have the range you would have with the 19.8 and the monolithic equipped, but you can go ahead and throw on a sight. And this is more of a kind of well-rounded, well-balanced style 
class, you still see the mobility is down a bit and the control is going to be down a bit. But overall, this is going to be able to be a little bit more mobile than the previous uh, suppression build that I showed you. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the Kilo 141. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, it would help out the channel a lot. Check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs. Their information is linked down in the description below. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.